did it again. I bought lots of books. When will this end? Oh, Tilly, Tilly. So, um, I have had a really good book buying month. Um, if you guys take a quick look at this stack of books over here, that is almost my height. This goes down to the floor, and these are all the books that I got this month. I will just try to keep it to like 10 seconds per book so that we can just power through this and watch my book buying problems on screen. I have no self-control. I would like to just point out firstly, um, I don't normally buy this many books and I have definitely not read this many books this month. So why I bought them, it escapes my mind. But hey, I'm happy. Like, so many good books. So most of these I either bought or received from Boffin's bookstores in the city or Dimmix or Book Depository or got sent the books or received them and I just wanted to put that out there before I start because I'm not going to talk about where I bought them all and everything like that. So let's get straight to it. Um, this is in no particular order. I'm just going to grab them from the top and keep going until this pile is no longer. Uprooted by Naomi Novik and I have heard so many great things about this book. It sounds like it's going to be a fantasy featuring around a girl who lives in a town that has outside food. Outside forces that are threatening them um, and there is a guy called the dragon who protects the town and he takes one girl every 10 years to kind of work for him, I think that's how it sounds, and basically the main character is most likely chosen. They're getting fostered by Diana Tuchel and I got this one signed at a book event that she did recently. Um, this is a really good book but it is also very very heavy but it's something that's very important for people to read. I discovered a comic book store in the city when I went last and so I kind of went on a big shopping spree there. I have got the hardcover of the I Zombie um, graphic novel um, which I am super excited to get around to reading. It is huge and beautiful and if you guys haven't heard of I Zombie, it is also a TV show which is really good. I'm just gonna like pick these up from the floor as I go because they're everywhere, like just span the length of my bookshelf. The Art of Being Normal by Lisa Williamson and I've been looking for this book for quite a while so when I finally found it of course I bought it. Um, so basically you have David who longs to be a girl and Leo who wants to be invisible and it sounds like it's going to be a pretty good friendship empowering novel. Other Bound by Corianne Duvis. Why am I so bad at pronouncing author's name? This sounds like it is going to be a pretty cool sci-fi, um, ooh bisexual book award winner. About a girl called Amara who basically it has an alien person inside of it called Nolan and um, he's from another world so yeah I'm gonna go with the word alien for that one and he basically is a bystander in her life he sees through her eyes until one day he learns that he can control her but of course Amara's like not up in here and um, yeah they have to learn to work together and discover the truth about the connection. I read my first Michael Grant novel a few weeks ago and so when I saw his gun series that was like super cheap at like Target I'm pretty sure, BW which is like the place that I love so much. I decided to buy them all. I'm not even sure which way the series goes. All I know is that Gone is the first one and then these all just will have to sort out when I get around to it but I'm pretty sure this is like a dystopia series. So everyone over the age of 15 has mysteriously disappeared so there's obviously going to be chaos as children probably figure out how to cook meals for themselves and get to do stuff without their parents yelling at them. Um, but some of the kids that have survived have mutant powers so it's going to be interesting. It kind of sounds like a twist between the enemy and the darkest minds. The graphic novel of Miss Peregrine's Home Peculiar Children and I'm very excited. Um, so it's basically the art is by Cassandra Jean and she's just amazing so I'm going to really love this. I've already read this next book but I have like the rest of the series in hardback but only the first one in paperback so to complete the beautiful perfection of them I had to go and buy The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter to complete that hardback look. Vigil by Angela Slatter. This is about a girl who has one human parent and one magical word wired word that I can't pronounce, parent. And because she can have one foot in both worlds she is basically given the job of the peacekeeper between them and then when all like people start dying and sirens and tears are getting sold, she has to investigate into that. The Outlier is by Kimberly McCrate, Huntress by Melinda Lowe and I'm so excited to read more Melinda Lowe books because 
I love them all so far. Um, so basically this one is the world is in chaos, the sun's not rising, crops are dying, people are really struggling to survive. When the two protagonists, um, they have to go to the fairy queen to ask for help. So I think it's going to be quite good. I know that it's usually like a retelling that she does, but I'm not 100% sure about this. The Problem with Forever by Jennifer L. Armentrout, and this sounds like it's a contemporary read which has um, the protagonist with a dark past, um, and then basically she goes into her senior year and ends up meeting someone else who is equally as scarred as her, but also someone she knows. That's what I'm getting from the blurb anyway, but I feel like it's going to be pretty heartbreaking, but also really empowering as well. There are so many books still to go, and they're just everywhere, and it's so great. Because I haven't talked about this next book enough, Hamilton the Revolution by Lynn manuel Miranda, and you guys really need to read this. It is a musical on Broadway and it is fantastic. The Steep and Thorny Way by Kat Winters. The Windy Season by Sam Carmody. Um, this is a local author for me, which I am like so happy about, and I can't wait to read it because I'm going to actually know the places, which is so exciting. But it's done to do with like the ocean. Um, basically, you have the main character called Paul, and Paul's our brother. Elliot has gone missing um, when he's a fisherman and so Paul decides he's going to go out and take a look but he finds that it's really hard to find anyone along the thousands of miles of coastline and the other dangers that could be awaiting them out there. Black by Fleur Ferris. I went book shopping with Tanika who is flipping through pages who I will leave a link to their channel below. Um, she's a Perth girl so we're going to be doing collabs eventually so keep an eye out because she's so amazing and nice and so great. Um, but we went book shopping and I went and bought a blind date with a book. Um, I'm keeping this in the packaging because I really love it. But I did open this book and it was a third in a series called Jealousy and um, I'm kind of really sad about that because I don't have the first two books in the series and I've never seen them before so I'm just going to keep it on my shelf beautifully wrapped up as a display. Breathing Underwater by Sophie Hardcastle and the way it sounds is that there is a brother and sister. They both have a lot in common but the brother seems to outshine the sister when something terrible happens that changes the path that their life is on. I think it's going to be about the sister more it is than the brother so I think it's something big is going to happen to her, and not a good kind of big, but a terrifying, scary kind of big. <laughs> oh my god, okay, so these next books are so beautiful. I picked them up from Dimmicks and I fell in love with them straight away. I already have a collection of these books. I've never read them though because I'm a terrible person who buys books for aesthetic purposes, but what you gonna do? So I brought Jane Eyre and Dracula, um, and they're just these absolutely gorgeous editions that just shine. And now we have a few graphic novels which I totally recommend to everybody. I've got Sex Criminals Volume 3, Saga Volume 6, and also Rat Queens Volume 2 and Volume 3. I got Why the Last Man Book 1 and Book 2, and also Lumberjanes Volume uh, Volume 4. And lastly, I got Miss Marvel, um, which is in the hardcover, and I'm super excited to start reading. The Balance of Blind by Lily Wilkinson, and from the reviews that I have heard of this book, it is a very cult. Um, centered book. So you have the character Ruby, um, basically she is very lost in the world when she meets someone called Fox. You're introduced to the Institute of the Boundless Sublime and it's a cult so pretty much once she realizes what's happening she's obviously too far in to get out the easy way so I think it's going to be a really heavy but good book. I got the Raven um, Boys by Maggie Steve Otters tarot cards, so the Raven's Prophecy tarots, and I've done that a few times and I'm actually really in love with them. Radio Silence, which is by Alice Oseman, her first book of Solitaire, and I really enjoyed that, so I hope I enjoy this one too. The Fall of Butterflies by Andrea Porter, and this cover was phenomenal, so I had to buy it. And then I read the back, and I'm pretty sure that we got a little bit of gay couple in this. And of course, that's why I picked it up, because I'm a sucker. Witch's Kiss by Catherine and Elizabeth Kaur. Um, This one I'm hoping is really good. I've heard very mixed things about it, though, but it's like witches and fantasy and all that great stuff. I got two copies of And I Darken by Kirsten White, one from a subscription box and one because I just had to buy it the moment it was released. This is also a really good fantasy. I'm pretty sure I've talked about it enough for you guys to kind of get the gist of what it is about. I need to, like, rearrange the books again because I've been stacking a pile here and I don't know, oh yeah, you guys can see it's like sitting in the corner, so I'm just gonna 
Let the Sky Fall by Shannon Messenger, and this is also a really nice cover, so I picked it up. But it sounds like it's going to be pretty good. I just also think it's going to sound really, like, generic, so hopefully it'll prove me wrong. More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera, and I have been told to be to buy this book for months now when I was putting it off and then when I finally did a book depository checkout I decided to get it and I am not disappointed like this is a really pretty book already and it sounds like it's gonna be really good and heartbreaking just the kind of novels that I like Extraordinary Means by Robin Schneider The Leaving by Tara Alta Brando and I read this book already and I really enjoyed it so basically you have uh, six kids that were taken and went missing um, and then only five come back I think like ten years later and they have no memories of what happened and they're just trying to piece together what exactly did and follow the clues that can link back to what happened. When Michael Met Mina by Randa Abdel Fattah, um, which I'm super excited to get around to reading. I've had it on my shelf like from the very beginning of this month and I'll get there eventually. The Loose Ends List by Carrie Firestone and I went to go read this the other day but unfortunately I did not feel like reading it contemporary so it is still on my TBR list. Half Lost by Sally Green, so this is the third book in the Half Bad trilogy. I'm not sure if it's the ending or not, but I still need to read Half Wild, so I just didn't want to be left in the cliffhanger and needing the last book, so I got it just in case. Yeah, let's go with that as an excuse for buying more books. Queen of Hearts by Colleen Oakes, um, which I'm pretty sure is like a retelling of Alice in Wonderland. Inheritance by Melinda Lowe, which is another one I'm really excited for because, yes, I love Melinda Lowe. Fans of The Impossible Life by Kate Skelser. This will also feature in my July wrap-up video because I read this and it was pretty good. These Shallow Grace by Jennifer Donnelly, and I feel like I've been wanting to get this book for a very long time and now I finally have. Imaginary Girls by Nova Rensuma and Tanika also told me that I should get this book because apparently it is really really good. Um, so I picked it up and basically by the way it sounds um, you have Chloe and Ruby who are sisters and when Chloe finds her sister's friend's body like after she's drowned, Chloe gets sent away um, and her sister Ruby tries to get her back and when she does things are just not as they used to be and there's going to be secrets that won't remain hidden. The Kingdom of Little Wounds by Susan Cockell. This one I'm actually really excited for. I wouldn't normally pick up a book like this um, just because it didn't look like physically appealing to me like I kind of the cover's grown on me I kind of like it now but then I read the back of it and I read the like start of the book as well and it sounds like it's something that I'm going to love so basically on the eve of Princess Sophia's wedding the palace prepares a sumptuous display of riches but in Skygenhaven things are rarely as they seem beneath the veneer of celebration a mysterious illness plagues the royal family and one courtier's power loss will set a devious plot in motion the Forbidden Winch by Jessica Corey, which I have been meaning to get for a while, so when I saw it in hardcover, I couldn't not buy it. The Only Thing Worse Than Me is You by Lily Anderson. I've seen really good reviews on this book, and when I read the first few pages, like, I think it's going to be a really fun and laugh out loud book, and it's kind of pretty looking. Alright guys, we are almost done. There are three books left for me to tell you guys about, and so I will get to it. Carousel by Brendan Ritchie, and from what it sounds like, there are a few people, one or two, or maybe a few more, but I think it's two people, who are stuck in a shopping center with no way out. And from the blurb on the back here, well, it's more of a conversation. It seems like they aren't entirely sure what is outside the shopping center, so as they are trying to get out, they don't really know what they're going to be walking into. When Mr. Dog Bites by Brian Conaghan, and I've seen this book um, online, but I haven't been able to find a copy of it, and I'm so happy that I finally did, because I've heard amazing things. So this book is about Dylan Mint, who is a 16 year old with Tourette's, and unfortunately he finds out that he is also going to die. So it is currently August in the book, and he has until March, so he's basically got a bucket list that he wants to complete. So it's just going to be really good, and I'm so excited to get around to reading it. As I said, I have heard amazing things. And lastly, I got The Way of Kings Part 1 um, by Brandon Sanderson, and it's just going to be a really good fantasy that will take me ages to read, but I just, I'm so excited. So there you go guys have all the books that I bought this month. I don't know why. I think I'm actually going to have to go and invest in buying a new bookshelf to go into my bedroom because 
if I put these into the library, there will be no room left. I can guarantee. Thank you guys for watching. I will have my um, July wrap up video coming out next week as well. So keep an eye out for that. And until then, I hope that you guys had a really good month, that you read lots of great books. And if you've got any opinions on the ones that I have bought that will eventually get around to reading, let me know. I would hold the books up, but they're too damn heavy. So you just have to suffer with my face. So bye.